Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. This video is probably not going to be a very long one today, but uh, we're going down to the northwest part of the Twin Cities region again to go find some Caterpillar D2 parts. Uh, my buddy Jim has uh, the back end of a 5U that he's looking to get rid of. And since all those final drive parts pretty much interchange with the earlier J-Series cats, we're going to go down and pick it up just so we can have a little bit more of a parts uh, stock on hand in case old 1113 needs a little bit of help back there. So, And I don't know what it is about that 1113 project. We found that down in the Twin Cities area, and it seems like we're getting all our parts from the Twin Cities area for that thing. But you'd think we'd be finding more of that stuff out here in the country, but the cities is where it seems to be. But anyway, we got the big uh, trailer on the truck. It's probably going to be a little bit of overkill for the size of that rear end unit it'll barely take up any real estate on the deck here but and got the tan truck out today to pull it so if you guys want to ride along we're just about ready to get going Bit of a trip update, I had to stop for some gas, leaving the gas station now, then some fuel. I got some delicious Mountain Dew, he gets that nasty coffee. This is a lot better. Okay, I love it. We're sitting at a red light and you know, there's like stores and restaurants and gas stations and everything around and it's like we're the only ones here with a trailer. I'm pretty sure these people are wondering like, hey, who let these rednecks in here? <laughs> okay, so we found Jim's place, but we're going to need to back the trailer into his driveway due to space constraints. Okay, Jim's got the rear end on his handy little cat loader. We're about ready to uh, fork it onto the trailer deck here. Okay, I got the rear end placed on the deck, but uh, Jim made us a deal on some uh, coiled up uh, D2 track segments too. So we're gonna get those out of his uh, shop now, probably place them up here towards the front a little more.
right and loaded, chain down, track shouldn't go anywhere. Hoping this rear end doesn't go anywhere. Seems like she's pretty solid. Now we gotta get out of here. All right, let's go home. Well, sitting in another red light, and if those people uh, thought we looked out of place coming down empty, I can only imagine what they're thinking with all that uh, rusty iron on the trailer here. At least they got two turn lanes here. Old rusty cat parts in a traffic jam. Well, we made it home all right, and he's just taking the bucket off the tractor over there, putting the forks on. We're gonna get ready, start getting these unloaded. But rear end did not move one bit. Um, like I say, we picked it up mostly for final drive parts. Steering clutches are pretty well stuck solid in this thing. So it is not gonna be fun getting these finals off, but you got to have a parts pile if you're going to work on this old stuff, and that's what that goes toward. has the main clutch in it, all the associated uh, wares that go with that. Sprockets are, eh, not the best, but they've got some life left in them. Let's see what we got for a number here. 5U 3248, so off the top of my head I'd say that's like a 1949, 1950-ish vintage. I don't have my book here, I'll have to check that later. So anyway guys, thanks for riding along. Hope you enjoyed the video. We're uh, taking chains off right now, ready to unload. So we're gonna get busy with that. Hope to see you back again.